Hello everyone, my name is Big Chen. In this video, I will be presenting about the physical basis and derivation of penman monteith equation. There are two fundamental approaches to estimate evapotranspiration, which are using the surface energy balance equation and the aerodynamic equation. In the first approach, if net radiation, Rn, soil heat flux, G, and sensible heat flux H can be measured or reliably estimated. Then the latent heat flux lambda E can be computed as the residual of surface energy balance. The sensible heat flux can be estimated using aerodynamic equation, where it depends on the difference between surface temperature T naught and air temperature Ta and the aerodynamic resistance to heat transfer RAH. Aerodynamic equation is analogous to Ohm's law for electrical current flows, where Ta and T0 are equivalent to electrical potentials or voltages, and RAH is equivalent to electrical resistance. The challenge of this approach is to measure surface temperature. Measurement of surface temperature are not common due to high operational and maintenance requirements of the instruments and difficulty of transferring measure values to other nearby locations due to thermal heterogeneity. In the aerodynamic approach, latent heat flux lambda E is estimated directly based on a similar aerodynamic expression to the sensible heat flux. Instead of temperature difference, latent heat flux depends on the difference between vapor pressure of the air, Ea, and vapor pressure inside the evaporating surface, E0, the aerodynamic resistance to turbulent vapor transfer, RAV, and the surface resistance to vapor flow, Rs. In practice, the measurement of vapor pressure inside the soil or plant surface is rare, which makes it difficult to estimate ET using either of these two approaches in routine practice. The penman monteith method combines these two approaches in a combination equation that can be solved using standard weather measurements only. The first step in deriving combination equation is utilizing the Bowen ratio, which is simply the ratio between sensible heat flux and latent heat flux. From the aerodynamic expressions of these two fluxes, we obtain this equation. Then apply the Bowen ratio to the surface energy balance equation, we will get this equation. As you can see, there are still T0 surface temperature and E0 vapor pressure inside the surface in this equation. Therefore, the next step is to eliminate these variables from the equation by making some assumptions. The first assumption is that vapor pressure inside the surface E0 is saturated and therefore is equivalent to the saturated vapor pressure of the surface temperature T0. The slope of the psychrometric curve delta, which is the linear approximation of the saturated vapor pressure differences between two temperature T0 and Ta is defined as follows. Based on this, we can replace the difference between T0 and Ta in the combination equation with the following term. Thereby, we remove the need of the surface temperature to T0 in this equation. The next step is to define a temporary term lambda Ea, which is the vapor transfer from evaporating surface to the air at reference level. The surface resistance is omitted since we only consider the difference between saturated vapor pressure at air temperature, ES, and the actual vapor pressure of the air, EA, 
also known as vapor pressure deficit. With this temporary term, we can estimate the ratio between ES minus EA over E0 minus EA as follow. Replacing this ratio in the previous combination equation to obtain the following. The next assumption is that aerodynamic resistance to vapor pressure, RAV, is equal to aerodynamic resistance to heat transfer, RAH. With this assumption, we can rearrange the combination equation as follow. By replacing the temporary term lambda EA, we obtain the penman monti equation in its common form, which contains the vapor pressure deficit term. The advantage of penman monteith equation is that it eliminates the need to measure surface temperature and requires only common weather and vegetation data to solve the equation. However, it means we assume that the net radi radiation is measured and not estimated from surface temperature, which is also called radiative on copper conditions. The other assumption that we have mentioned previously are aerodynamics resistance to heat and vapor transfer are equal. Vapor pressure inside the surface temperature to be saturated and we can only we can linearly approximate the saturated vapor pressure curve by the slope of saturation vapor pressure versus temperature.